Hey there, my name is Heidi and I recruit product managers. It seems that our video series about how to create an effective product resume has really hit a nerve. We've been getting so much great feedback from you about what we've already provided. In fact, I'm going to be sharing with you today a message that I got from a vice president of product who specifically asked me to cover off this um, part of an effective resume because from where they sit as a product leader evaluating resumes, you know, they, they see this as a tremendous opportunity for candidates to improve. So I'm going to read to you now what they sent me. Hey, Heidi, hope you're well. Loved your video on resume tips. Makes so much sense. Maybe one more tip to consider is the bullet point format of a resume. For example, did this manage the product get this type of a result and then listing out in bullet points what those results are from concept to launch had an x impact revenue wise nps went up by this amount saved this much money for the company sometimes it might be hard to quantify the result but ideally we being vps of product we want to see the impact of a certain action thank you for sending through this point. And so I couldn't say it better myself. If we think back to the other things that we've already said about resumes, it's important that your resume separates you from the rest of the pack who may be working as a product manager as well, doing a, doing a job very similar to yours, but, but don't have the accomplishments or the outcomes that you have as a candidate. So you want to make sure that your, your, taking enough time to demonstrate clearly that your efforts have added value to the business and that there has been an impact from your actions. Most people do not have the time to read a resume. Resumes are scanned very quickly. So that's why bullet points, clearly outlining the accomplishments, is, a, is an effective way of getting across your product story. If someone has to sit and read through paragraphs and content, it's, it's harder to pull those salient points out. You want to make it um, a delightful, frictionless, easy experience for the user who's engaging in your, with your product, which is the resume. Thank you again, VP product, for that, for that point and that, um, that observation and I hope this helps someone out there today as as you were as you reimagine how you might create a more effective product resume. If you have any questions or comments, if you have something that you want us to cover off in this video series, please do send me a note, Heidi at ambassit.com and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a great day and good luck with your job interviews if you're a candidate.